أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلوات الله وسلام عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم our dear and honored respected ulama and scholars our father figures our mentors our beloved fathers and mothers brothers and sisters and our innocent children السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته it would have been better to balance uh, this group here by having Sister Fatima come and uh, speak after Ambassador Ibrahim Rasul. And uh, I would have advised that it would have been a good balance. Shukran Ibrahim for making it very difficult to say anything. The development that have been taking place in our community, different developments that have been happening in our community, have been causes of great concern. But these issues are issues that have been coming on for time. And these are not issues that are peculiar, unfortunately and regrettably, to our community here in the Cape. They are happening, seem, happening seeming, seemingly uh, in the Muslim communities across the world. It would appear that we certainly, as uh, Ambassador Ibrahim had said, we certainly do not take lesson from history. It seems that we would rather follow the adage that says that history must repeat itself. History repeating itself is in fact a, 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 a system and a design of Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks in the Holy Quran about history abundantly. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala references that he has certain laws that govern human existence on this earth. And that those laws are in fact referred to in the Holy Quran as sunnatullah fil ard. And Allah ta'ala emphasizes and he says, You shall not find divergence from those laws and deviation in those laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, substitution of those laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not in the most minute of forms. Allah's laws will always apply, irrespective whether they are in communities of faith, whether they are in communities of non-faith communities, it does not matter. And so whatever we bring forth with our hands, uh, we will reap the consequences thereof. ظهر الفساد في البر والبحر بما كسبت أيدي الناس. That mischief and uh, transgression shall spread through the earth and through the oceans on the basis of what human beings have brought forth with their own hands. So these laws of Allah, this the the natural laws of Allah are many. And obviously they are in and around, we live them, and we sometimes don't even realize that we live them. Of these laws are that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had created human beings, and the law that applies to them is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had decided against Allah Ta'ala had decided against uniformity in this creation. Uniformity is not how Allah created human beings. Had it been the will of Allah, He would create human beings as one ummah. But His law is, They shall indeed Continue to have differences, differ with one another, have different views, look at things differently, see the world differently. They shall do that forever. It won't cease. Differences is natural. That we would differ and have Sunnis and Shi'is is natural. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you believe and that we believe as we are in this masjid, uh, the majority of us are Sunni 
and that we have our beliefs is not just natural, it is also our right. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also speaks about the freedom of conscience, the freedom of thought, the freedom of belief. And all of that becomes part of Allah ta'ala's sunnah on this earth. And so when we speak about the differences that we have with the Shia, you can't speak about it. There is no, no problem with that. The problem is, how do you speak about it? The problem is, how do you differ with one another? And so, our brother sitting on the corner on that side, Brother Molana Aftab Haider, I've had opportunity to quote from himself saying, we do not have a problem if you critique, if you have, if you put forth your position of differences between the Sunnah and the Shia. That's not a problem. That's your right. But do not create mischief. Do not create and spread hatred. Do not incite the emotions of e people and fan people's emotions to the point where people go into a stupor and into a frenzy of how they view the other person. I think the Cape Accord for us is about understanding that in our beautiful country in which we live, we also understand that we have the right to express our views, but we do not have the right to express those views whilst we incite hatred against anyone. If anybody, I think I've said it at this platform, if anybody spews hatred from this pulpit or from any pulpit, that person cannot be inspired by Ar-Rahman. On the contrary, that person will be inspired by shaitan. Our beloved Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had spoken about the emergence of the khawarij. He had foretold that there shall come among you people whom when you look at the way how they perform salah, you will look at your own salah in disdain and say, Ya Allah, I should really brush up on my salah. When you look at how they fast, you will think about your own fast in real insignificant terms. If you look at how they recite the Qur'an, you will think that you really need to be ashamed of how you butcher the Qur'an. But the Nabi Wasallam says that they would have left the fold of Islam like an arrow leaves its bow towards its target. So, notwithstanding the way in which the appearances are, the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had indicated that these people would have already left the fold of Islam. Now, these in our history were known as the Khawarij. These were people that for the most minute things would declare others kafir. These were the very people who then ultimately were responsible for the assassination of Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala And so Sayyidina Ali famously, when the dispute between Sayyidina Ali and Sayyidina Muawiyah came to that point where the arbitration was put forth, they then raised the slogan and said, Al-Hakimiyyah Lillah that the settlement of disputes shall not be done via arbitration, but it must be done in accordance with the law of Allah, because law and judgment belongs only to Allah. With a sense of self-righteousness, with a sense of, um, a sense of arrogance, and also a sense of clear extremist ideas of their own understanding of the deen of Islam. Sina Ali's famous retort to that was, Qawlun haqq, yuradu biha batil. Qawlun haqq, that is a true word that is being spoken, but the intent behind it is batil. And so, when we then find that we are being 
incited towards hatred, towards hating the other, towards otherizing, and to looking at others in ways other than ways of dignity and respect, as had been mentioned before, then we need to become extremely, extremely cautious and uh, uh, ask questions. The reason why we believe the Cape Accord is important, again, to the Sunnah of Allah is the entire Sharia, every hukum in the Sharia is confirmed exclusively to secure the outcome of that hukum. The hukum wants to secure an outcome or it wants in a positive way or it wants to avert a potential scenario in a negative way. So therefore, we believe, we believe that sectarian speech, sectarian hatred, sectarian uh, discourse of inciting and encouraging others to look differently at others with hatred, etc. Sectarianism is haram in Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran explains why that is the case and that is that you shall, you shall self-destruct. You shall self-destruct. Many places in the Holy Quran, maybe just to quote the hadith of Ibn Mas'ud, in the collection of Imam al-Bukhari, the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Don't fall into factionalism. Don't fall into disputes of rancor and hatred and factionalism among yourselves. Because those who have gone before you fell into such dis disputes and they perished and self-destructed. May Allah Ta'ala accept this endeavor and initiative to be one which inshallah reaches the hearts of human beings and reaches in the depths of our hearts to bring out our humanity and so that our faith can be expressed on the platform of our humanity inshallah. Shukran.